thing with Rob. It's me, Rob. Okay, so I did another stupid intro. And uh, you guys should know what that means. It means we're talking about a new car today. And uh, it's one that I'm pretty excited to talk about. It is the Fiat 500 and the Fiat 500 off the uh, kind of badass Evo version of the Fiat 500. So let's go ahead and jump into it and start off with your basic Fiat 500 or the hot edition, which started right at around 15 grand. Uh, really cheap for a new car. It's only $600 more than a Ford Fiesta. And uh, I gotta tell you, this thing kicks the shit out of the Ford Fiesta. It is really, really awesome. Um, one really major cool factor about it is I always ask myself um, when I'm looking at new cars, is how is this small fuel efficient hatchback any different than the last small fuel efficient hatchback or sedan or how is the Mazda 3 better than the Lancer? I mean, I always compare like, okay, how is, what makes this car stand out? What makes this car awesome? And, and this car has a lot of things that make it stand out. Um, first of all, it is the only Italian car that any of us regular Joe Schmoes can afford. Okay, starting out at right around 15, and the super awesome Avoth model being right at 22. So you have a huge selection of options and features um, from Fiat, including body and rims and decals, and um, you can get the interior match to the outside color, or you can get it in carbon fiber, or you can get the seats in different, and they have different steering wheels and everything. I mean, you can really customize this car. It really becomes you as you're, as you're optioning up a car because there's there's so many options. Um, the uh, the 1.4 liter in it is not a terrible little engine. Uh, it's kind of peppy. Uh, it makes about 110, 115 horsepower. Um, so it makes about the same amount of horsepower as 1.6 you could get on the Ford Fiesta. And it makes... Um, upwards of 40 miles per gallon. Okay, it's real close in there. I think it was at a 38, but I can't remember if that was the Aboth or not. Hmm. Anyway, so, oh man, there's a train. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So, fucking A. Just, that just completely derailed my train of thought. So anyway, it's got a 1.4 liter, 115 horsepower, uh, right around 40 miles to the gallon. Great little car. Uh, Five-speed automatic, five-speed manual transmission. Um, the shifter on it for the manual transmission is really cool um, because it's it's up here kind of in the dashboard. You have a really small from steering wheel to shifter reach there and uh, it kind of makes it feel a little more like a rally car. Um, the car is, is that old school kind of European feel. Um, you've got your large circle gauge with a medium gauge in it with a smaller gauge inside that. So it's really cool. You've got your miles per hour. And you're not looking at a hundred different needles. You can just kind of go down the row and follow your needles down. So I really, really like that. Um, as far as interior space, the front is fine. The rear, eh, not so much. Um, if it was me personally, I would get rid of the back seats. I would. I would just get rid of the back seats and just, it's a two-door hatchback anyway, right? So you got your two front seats and you got extra cargo space. That's really where I'd go with that. So, I mean, as far as interior space, but then again, it is a subcompact. Um, like I said, it's it's very standout-ish. Uh, just the just the side profile and its shape, it's, it's definitely not one of these cars that's trying to be a Mini Cooper or a, or a Volkswagen Beetle. It's not copying. It's really its own car. It really is. So it's a, it's a cool little car, and I, I really, really do enjoy it. Sorry, I'm still getting used to having the, the stereo, I guess. The music was playing that whole time. I didn't realize it. <laughs> but yeah, what a cool little car from the outside. The side profile's great. It doesn't look like it's trying to be anything. It's really its own... Uh, thing the the front and this gets me and I don't know if you guys did this on purpose but in any kind of comedy movie you'll see the the stereotypical Italian guy with the the pencil thin straight mustache um, kind of just right off the side of his nose just you know nice and straight and the front of the Fiat's got the Fiat badge with two chrome little stripes it just gets me every time it looks just like an Italian mustache I, I don't know why I noticed that I don't know what about that makes it awesome but come on it's awesome.
Anything with a mustache is awesome. Anything. So, it's, it's a really great little standout car. Now, Fiat um, was doing amazing with this car in Europe. They were selling out like crazy, and uh, it really resurrected the brand. Um, they brought it over to the U.S. and gave it two years to see how it would do. It's doing great. It's very popular. I see a lot of you guys out there driving Fiat's, and uh, i got to give it up to you. The Fiat is, is a cool little car. You know, you definitely have taste and style when you're purchasing an Italian car, even the Fiat. Now, no, it's not a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, but it really wants to be. It really does. You can definitely tell that this is the car. Okay, so, like, if you're getting into Chevy Aveo, you can tell this is the cheap American car because, God, the thing is cheap. If you're getting in a Fiat 500, you can really tell that this was the cheap version of the really nice Italian car. Because it's still really nice on the inside. It's a great little car, especially for the price um, that you have to pay for it. Now, uh, Fiat took it a step further. They made like a Mopar edition with all the silly little bits and pieces uh, for the aftermarket, like the roof rack and like the shift knob. And You know, they, they're resurrecting Mopar as a as a uh, performance brand also that way and uh, as you guys saw at the Detroit Auto Show Fiat had released a whole bunch of Mopar shit so um, they took it a step further and they came out with the Aboth which I personally didn't think we were going to see here in the States they didn't over here um, no one had any kind of anticipation for it um, but having seen it a bunch really excited for it, and uh, when they finally released it, it was like, sweet, I can't believe it, they were really doing it, and uh, my personal pick on the color scheme for that, for the Avant, is that black and black car with red, that looks sick, and I think that just looks sick, it's really the, the Evo STI of the subcompact world, sure, it's only making 178 horsepower, 180 pounds of torque, but the color weighs the same as the CRX, so less than a Civic for all you Honda guys out there, less than a Corolla for the rest of you normal people. Uh, it's a, it is a very light little car, and they didn't just upgrade the motor. No, you also get uh, better suspension. You get a whole better interior, all like the racy kind of stuff. There's holes in the seats for your five-point harness and everything, and they're really like, yes, this is a fun car to drive. And uh, they really give it that feel. Um, the shifter now.